Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about drum triggering. How does it work? What can you use it for? All that shizzle. First, I will go over what most people already know you can do with triggers, and then I'm going to show you some other cool stuff you can do. So, what you may or may not know is that a drum trigger is an electronic sensor that you can attach to any acoustic drum, and it more or less makes it an electronic drum, meaning you can plug it into an electronic drum module like this one. This is the Roland TD-10, and you can pretty much make your drum sound like whatever you want. And today for my demonstration, I'm just going to be plugging my triggers into the back of my interface and using tune track samples. My triggers for this video, I am using the Roland RT-10S dual triggers, and dual means you can trigger both the head and the rim of the drum, which is pretty damn cool. And I've just, uh, I got these on some old D-drum toms with pearl muffle heads, and these, uh, these pearl muffle heads, they're pretty much made out of the same material as the, uh, the Roland V-drum heads. And for the kick triggers, I've got the Axis E-kit triggers, which are my personal favorite. And just before we get started here, I need to clear something up. There's a lot of people out there who think that triggers are cheating. No, 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 no. I still don't understand how people could ever think that triggers are cheating. It, like, it's, it's not like you can program it to play blazing fast double bass for you by just hitting the trigger once. Like, you have to hit every single note yourself, see? Yay! Sorry about that. I guess we were having some sort of uh, technical, technical, technical difficulties there. All right, now that everything's working properly, let's get to the fucking demonstration already, shall we? You're gonna see the same performance three times and each with different trigger sounds. So that's what most people know you can use triggers for. Now I'm going to show you a cool little trick you can do if you're good with editing. Say you want to have a huge kit with like four rack toms and a whole bunch of different cymbals, but you only have a small setup, like this one here. No problemo! You can splice up your track after you record to a whole bunch of different tracks, and then you can change the sound afterwards. Check this out. Triggers can also come in handy when your bass player forgets to show up to a gig. You can send your signal to two different tracks, and then on the other track you just program a MIDI sequence that will play along with each trigger hit. And there's actually a couple of drum modules out there that have this kind of feature on it as well if you don't feel like doing it on the computer. So now let's hear a few examples of that. So yeah, you can pretty much use triggers to sample whatever you want. You can even sample Glenn Fricker. What the fuck? Come on! What the fuck? Come on! Come on! What the fuck? It's not fucking rocket science! Speaking of Glenn Fricker, he actually did a really good video on how to use triggers to control gates and help minimize bleed during drum recording. You can check that out right here. Oh shit. Give me the mic. All right, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you next time.